Well, all this pleasant, hot, dry weather is great for Tri-State golfers. But it's another story entirely for golf course managers. News 25's Jordan Vandenberg explains. Ask these golfers to paint a picture of paradise. Chances are they'll use strokes of green. Lots and lots of green. But an abnormally dry summer has park officials scrambling to keep them that way. Well, it's affected the Parks Department in the way of, you know, it's increased our irrigation bills by watering our, you know, uh, golf courses, our soccer complex and other sporting fields. A lot of hand water. We probably hand water 32 to 40 hours a week. That either we're hand watering or watching. It's been a, uh, it's been a struggle from the maintenance side of it. It's been good on the uh, golf course business side of it. Combine fewer rain days, more irrigation expenses, and plenty of scorching summer heat, and you've got a recipe for disaster for any golf course and its budget. The 2010 budget for Evansville's Parks Department sets aside upwards of $50,000 to water the city's four public courses. In Owensboro, prior to acquiring Ben Hall's golf course in June, the 2010 budget sets aside more than $20,000 for the upkeep of Hillcrest Golf Course. Despite being handicapped on resources, Ooh. course managers say they're on par. Ooh. We budgeted, uh, we budgeted no one in where we were, so we knew we would have that expense. Next year will be a little better. We just know they've been a little bit higher than the past months. We have not done a comparison to last year, the years before last at this time, but we do notice that they're, they're up a little bit, but we're still within budget that what we have appropriated for this year. Even though it might take a bit more green to keep the courses all green, it's hard to complain about this picture of paradise. Jordan Vandenberg, News 25.